Hello everyone. Um, well, I was supposed to have my full upper teeth pulled today and two on the bottom. Um, I went to the clinic and um, when I got there, they had me uh, fill out paperwork, you know, do my x-ray, which I'm going to show you guys my x-ray. Um, do my x-ray and then I had to wait in the lobby. Um, then the uh, they came and got us, everybody that was doing IV sedation, and the dentist met with us um, to talk to us about um, bone loss and um, about shrinkage of your gums once you get dentures. Um, so he talked to us about that and he said that, um, which it didn't really apply to me because I'm, I'm keeping my bottom teeth because they're they're okay um so i'm keeping my bottom teeth so it didn't really apply to me but apparently he said that he tries to do everything he can to save people's bottom bottom teeth um because you have more bone loss on the bottom than you get on the top i guess um i don't know uh, but then after that he started calling us back for individual exams and consultations um, when he did mine, um, the first thing that he said was that he has never seen an upper, um, an upper set of teeth like mine. Um, in his, like, 23 years of dentistry, he's never seen teeth like mine. Um, which I didn't know how to feel about that, but, um, he talked to me and, um, First thing he said was, well, let me get my, let me grab my, um, x-ray real quick. So I'm going to grab that and then I will show you guys. Let me show you my x-ray and then, um. I'll show you kind of what he was talking about. Okay. So, this is my x-ray. First thing that he pointed out was um, this black right underneath that tooth that's broken off that black pocket right there is an abscess. So as soon as he showed me that, even though I have been on an antibiotic for the last couple of weeks, um, which I didn't really take it like I was supposed to, like nonstop like I was supposed to, or every three, eight hours, something like that. Um, but as soon as he told me that I had an abscess, I kind of had a feeling that he wasn't going to be able to do my teeth today. So... Um, I already had the expectation that it wasn't going to get done today. But then he started talking about, um, right here, I don't know if you can tell where the red is, basically right in here, right here, and right here are my maxillary sinus cavities um this wisdom tooth this tooth and this tooth are all lodged into that sinus cavity and that sinus cavity right there that is a bone and um because they are lodged in there if he were and it's the same way on these that wisdom tooth is way up in there and then these two teeth right here are lodged into it as well um if he were to pull those um those teeth he said that it could put a hole in my um sinus cavity which is basically right behind your cheekbones is where your sinus cavities are um it could 
put a hole in my sinus cavity which would be a serious uh, complication meaning that I would have to see an oral surgeon and have that filled in um, and you with a hole in your sinus cavity like that it can cause very bad infections um, that are very serious that will put you in a hospital for a couple weeks so he um, he was an amazing dentist um, Dr. Clark um, and he let me know that he did not feel comfortable with doing that um, with it being a Friday um, it would have been very difficult if that was if it was to make a hole in my sinus cavity it would have been very difficult to find an oral surgeon that could fix it within 24 hours um, so I definitely knew then that I was not gonna get my teeth done today um, and I did cry a little bit because I had uh, psyched myself up over it hyped myself up over it um, I, I actually felt prepared um, and then it all just went away again um, so um, he gave me a referral for an oral surgeon first to have those four teeth removed um, the wisdom teeth can stay up there um, but those four the two right beside the wisdom teeth on each side have to come out um, by an oral surgeon so uh, he gave me a referral and um, I went ahead and made calls on the way home we were already back home from the clinic instead of staying at the hotel again we just came home it was a three hour drive so just think I have to do this three hour drive again um, in a couple weeks but he gave me a referral for the oral surgeon to have those four teeth removed um, and I called around to different places I got an appointment um, I go on Monday for a consultation with an oral surgeon um, local to here uh, so and then they also said that they could probably schedule that surgery for those four teeth like the very next week um, so hopefully next week I can get that done and then give it a week or a week or a week and a half to heal um, and then go back to the clinic and get the rest done. My goal is to have these dentures, these teeth out of my mouth and have dentures by the end of August. That is my goal and I'm trying so hard to get it to that point. So unfortunately... I couldn't get my teeth done today, but there is still hope. I'm still getting them done. It's just taking a little bit longer than I expected. Um, you know, I'm a firm believer in everything happens for a reason. God knows what he's doing. And I'm thankful for having a, having seen a dentist today that was willing to be honest with me and let me know, hey, you know, this is risky. I don't. I don't want to put your health in jeopardy um, you know he took every measure to make sure that um, we could get this done in a way that would be the most beneficial and um, the least problem causing um, and my voice is raspy because my sinuses are horrible and now I know why because I have four teeth lodged in them um, anyways, um, I do want to say that, um, I've said it before on my previous videos, um, I am a paparazzi consultant, independent consultant for paparazzi jewelry, and, um, the jewelry is $5, it is all lead and nickel free. And this jewelry is amazing and I'm just going to show you guys an example of a set that I have that will be available. Um, I am going live from Facebook um, tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and today is August the 2nd, 2019. So... If you watch this video before then, please, please, please join my live. 
But just to give you an example, if you're not familiar with paparazzi, they always the earrings mainly have the fishhook backs, and then here are the earrings themselves with that yellow green moonstone in it. That's gorgeous, guys. That's so gorgeous. So there's the earrings. And then there is a ring. And these are called Fashion Fix Sets. This one is Glimpses of Malibu. These are, um, they have a brand new Fashion Fix um, set. There's like five different Fashion Fix sets. Um, and they're brand new each month. They come out with a new set. So there's the ring that matches the earrings. And you guys, y'all are getting, all of my YouTube subscribers are getting a first glance at these because my regular customers have not seen these yet. I actually just got these today. Here is the bracelet that matches. And if you'll notice the ring matches with that bracelet and there's the earrings. And then there is a necklace that matches. So tonight on my um, live show that I do tonight I actually created an event on Facebook. Um, if you look me up on Facebook, um, which I will post the link for my business page below for you to find me, but my um, page is, my personal page is Caitlin Dennis, um, and the event page is shared on there as well. Ooh, I actually just took this out myself, and it is gorgeous. So, all of the necklaces come with a complimentary pair of earrings. So, when you actually purchase a necklace, you pay $5 for the necklace. You get these little bonus earrings for free. So, it comes with the earrings. It has a 2-inch extender, silver chain that's long, and goes down to your pendant. That is gorgeous, guys. So pretty. So, if you like that... um definitely pop in on my live tonight um add me on facebook uh like and follow my business page um all the things um we will be doing family feud trivia tonight um i have little family feud cards and we play games with those tonight i'm also doing a mystery hostess party um and there's uh details on the event page on how you can enter to um win the mystery hostess status which is you get one free piece of jewelry for every 10 pieces that i sell um tonight is actually my first live that i have done since about june the 16th um i had stopped doing my live videos due to my teeth looking like this so um with this setback on it taking longer i just i missed doing my paparazzi so i'm just you know, my story is out there now, so I'm just going to go for it. So, support would be great. Um, if you love the jewelry, come and hang out. Come have fun. Um, no purchase is necessary to win free jewelry. Um, and you don't have to purchase anything at all. Just come and have fun. Hang out with us. Um, if you like something, definitely encourage you to purchase. But um, that's completely up to you. I would just love for you to join in. Um, but yeah, I guess that is all. I guess my next video will be on Monday after I see the oral surgeon for that consult, um, and schedule the surgery. So, I hope to see you all on my live tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys.